They say that in space, no one can hear you talk to your skeleton backpack and, of course, turn people into skulls to trade them in for currency. Hey everybody, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom. Gio here, and today we're doing a first impressions video on Q Hayashida's manga, Die Dark. Her latest work just came out, published in North America, got my hands on Volume 1, read it, and here are my first impressions. Right away, I gotta say, if you're a fan of Doro Hedoro, this will be right up your alley. It is fantastic, it is macabre, glorious and dirty to look at, but oh so well drawn. The story stars the character of Zaha Zanko, who has great and terrible powers. They say if you possess his bones, you will be granted any wish. So essentially the young man has a hit on his head throughout the galaxy as multiple people are after him for uh, you know to claim such a wish we don't really know if that's true or not but that is what the rumor is saying across the galaxy this is a manga that takes place in space and you have characters traversing the multiple galaxies and all that stuff in really disgusting looking uh, and, and quite imaginative uh, spaceships as they're searching for what is essentially a uh, pirate booty. The quirky thing is that Zaha Sanko is this teenaged kid who doesn't really let that stuff get to him and he's still his upbeat self. Even though he's aware of the stuff that's happening, he's still going to go after several dubious characters like the beginning chapter of the story. He still maintains his joyful self and that I found really awesome. You don't have a lot of characters like that in a setting like this. Obviously, if it were a Shonen Jump title, you would have a happy-go-lucky protagonist, but on something from the twisted mind of Q Hayashida, I wouldn't have expected that. But then again, I get some really weird vibes from this manga. It reminds me too much of Doro Hedoro. That's a good thing, and on a somewhat smaller scale, that's a bad thing. You see, several of the characters, their art and uh, their character designs, I should say, kind of remind me of the characters of that other manga. There is a female, uh, character in this who is sort of this uh, merchant seller immediately I thought oh it's uh, Nikaido from Doro Hedoro so it's stuff it's moments like that where it just reminds me that I am reading a new manga but it kind of looks like the older one but that's not something that would stop me from enjoying Die Dark I think it's a well constructed story with a really cool protagonist something really unique is that he has this skeletal buddy called Avakian who is, um, we don't know yet his full backstory, but essentially is this backpack looking dude who transforms into this giant skeletal creature and is able to assist our main protagonist, but also care for him. They have a really nice relationship, Zaha and Avakian, and you see that in the middle of the book when they go into a flashback examining our main protagonist's backstory a little bit, back when he was eight years of age and he wandered into this academy at the request of Avakian, you know, to, to sort of protect him there for as long as possible. And over there you find out more secrets about what could possibly be his curse and all that stuff. The main appeal, obviously, aside from the beautiful art, is just the <laughs> the author's vision. It's so chaotic and wonderful. To have creative plots like this is really cool. I like when a creator takes chances and creates something that is uniquely them and doesn't adhere to any sort of formula. You know what I mean? I mean, where else can you get stuff like this where you have a character floating through space with a dark cloak, a dark axe, and this mask that looks really badass and creepy as he's chopping down bad guys, turning them into skeletons because he wants to buy a spaceship. And the actual spaceship, uh, the currency that he's using is these bones, and when he turns them in, he finally gets a ship, and it turns out sort of to be this anthropomorphic uh, thing that turns into a giant ship and he's gonna use it to traverse the alternate uh, reality of the universe and it's not specifically stated at the beginning but there's this 
there are two versions. The regular universe that people are traversing through, and there's this dark universe <laughs> laying underneath or something. And uh, the, I guess the main goal of the duo here is to traverse that and find whomever is spreading the rumors about this curse, this uh, wish-granting ability that uh, Zanko's body possesses. We don't really know yet what's going to happen, but that's half the fun. Obviously, they meet several other characters, like um, Death here, who I'm, I'm not going to spoil, but I thought was an excellent character. And really, there's a lot of humor to this story. Yes, it's gritty, grotesque, macabre, and awesome looking, but it also has that signature style and humor that Ayashida is known for. If you've read Doro Hedoro, that um, silly slapstick humor and the quirky dialogue is ever so present here with, of course, Avakian and um, the interactions between him and, and Zanko and, of course, uh, Shimada Death right here. Uh, just really awesome, funny, cool stuff. I can't wait. Um, as a first impression spaces, I absolutely loved it, and I highly recommend it. This is rated for older teen, of course, it's published by the folks at Seven Seas. It's smaller than your regular manga, which a lot of people were upset about, but I kind of like this digest size. It's kind of cute, and the presentation overall is fantastic. They preserved all the... Uh, colored pages, which is awesome. I always love seeing colored pages in manga, and you have some really wicked uh, displays here, which benefit from that. I like that it has all the illustrations and the colored chapters as well, and not a whole lot of back matter. There is a bonus chapter story as well as a crossword puzzle, which I, I was not expecting to see in a manga, but hey, 2021, now I've seen everything. Overall, yeah, I really enjoyed Die Dark. I am looking forward to Volume 2. I believe Volume 3 came out in Japan, but we still don't have that solicited. But nonetheless, super excited about this series. Uh, interested to see where it goes. Have you read Die Dark Volume 1? Are you reading the series as it comes out? Let me know in the comments section down below. And also, let me know if you're a fan of Kyu Hayashida, which of her works is your favorite, and if you choose Doro Hedoro, what's your favorite character from Doro Hedoro? Very interested in finding out. Guys, as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It really does mean a whole lot. Thank you so much for the support. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do content like this where I go over anime, manga, comics, all that fun stuff. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.